The federal government said to complete the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway in two years, meaning the journey that is taking us two days will now be a journey of eight hours. The dredging processes, excavation works, the watering and sand filling, as well as placement of crushed stone beds, cement stabilization of the best coast, drainage works, and gulvets, among other processes, are progressing very well. The Minister of Work, Engineer David Omahi, have this to say. Here we are is the starting point of the coastal route, which is the taking off from this point. It goes through the Lake Deep Sea port. It goes through to Port Harcourt. It goes through to Calabar. But we have two spots. One spot is under phase two. It's going from a point along this coastal route to the ongoing Padagre Sokoto Road and another spot to along the Okoja Axis, the Transhara Trade Route. Two of them are under phase two. And so we are here to inspect the route. The phase one is going to be about 600 and 50 kilometers. It consists of two service lanes, standard carriageways, both sides. The middle is going to have a space for the construction of rail lines. Along the corridor, we are also going to be acquiring some um, uh, spaces for critical infrastructure like uh, hotels, tourism facilities, uh, we have factories, we have estates, and so on and so forth. So it's going to be a major breakthrough under the administration of His Excellency President Senator Ahmed Bolatelebo. This project is under EPC plus F, that is engineering, B for procurement, C for construction, F is for financing by the high tech Nigeria Limited. The people that built the Oshudi, Apapa, yeah, um, the Federal Highway on concrete. So let me announce that this road is going to be on concrete. And good enough, it was the governor of Lagos State here that even started concrete program and that's the current president you go to vi you will see interlocking concrete ties that's another form of concrete technology and so we're very happy that um, in his tenure as mr president we are taking concrete route to the next level Also speaking during the inspection tour, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Works, Senator Barry Nada Mpiji, and the Chairman of House Committee on Works, Akin Alabi, promised the influential support of the National Assembly in area of funding through appropriation to ensure that the project is completed in record time. Federal Controller of Works, Lagos State, Engineer Mrs. Kesha promised the minister that she will put an eyes on the project 24 hours to ensure that the job is delivered to specification.
already they have uh, completed uh, some filling of uh, uh, 1.3 kilometer, um, you know, from the day that uh, the project was awarded to them. It shows the speed they are going to deploy to this project. Uh, within uh, a couple of uh, one, two weeks, we awarded the project to them. They mobilized a lot of dredging equipment, and you can see they have recovered 1.3 kilometer. Thank you for joining me on this channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe and the notification button below so that when we post a video like this, you can be notified. Thank you. Please like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.